welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am gonna do a mummy nighttime routine and share with you all of the tips and tricks and steps that I take to ensure that I have a productive start of the week. So tomorrow is Monday, so I do a few things every Sunday evening to ensure that I start every Monday off on the right foot help with my own schedule, Ava's schedule, preschool, meal planning, meal prepping, you get the gist. I'm gonna show you everything that I do to ensure that I start my week off on the right foot. If you're new to my channel, my name is Angela and I like to do videos on all things about motherhood, lifestyle, family, organizational, cleaning, baking, everything to do with keeping that little munchkin of mine entertained. So make sure you click that like and subscribe button down below and also hit that bell for notifications. Look how sleepy my little one is. I think it's bedtime. After dinner, I always make sure that I load up my dishwasher and I start it so that way in the morning, I have fresh clean dishes and I can unload my dishwasher. I also like to empty my garbage every night. And then I take Lysol wipes and I always like to disinfect the outside and the inside quite thoroughly. clean garbage bag. It's the little things that just help me feel a little bit more productive and ready for a new day. After that, I like to put away any clutter that is on my counters. And then I empty my sink of any dishes that we've used throughout the day. And I'll put a link in the description down below to these OXO Good Grips soap dispensing brushes. They are awesome. They help make my dishes so nice and clean and I swear it makes the job easier. I always put everything away afterwards and make sure that my sinks are nice and clean and sparkling. Next, I always scrub my countertops, get rid of any crumbs and leftover food or mess from the day's menu. There's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and having a dirty kitchen. And I swear this little step always puts me in such a better mood. And then I always get out Ava and I's breakfast dishes. It's something mindless and easy, but you know what? It's one less thing that I have to worry about in the morning. I also like to get out my coffee cup because then that's something that I'm really looking forward to in the morning. But with that coffee cup, I also have a glass of water because I'm trying to have water before coffee. Aw, oh, there's my big Buster Brown. He's such a good boy. Next up is bath time for little Miss Ava Bear. The next tip is to lay out your little one's clothes. It is just so helpful in the morning, you know exactly what they're gonna wear, and it takes the guesswork out of it, especially when your little ones wanna dress themselves. That's the option that you've laid out, and Ava has no problem putting on her clothes. Bedtime is always my favorite time with Ava. I love her little stories that she tells me. It's so sweet. All right, now that Ava's in bed, it's time for me to get going. So I lay my own clothes out as well, just like I do for Ava. In the morning, I know exactly what I'm wearing. I have my accessories out. And then I get planning. So every Sunday, I plan out Ava's preschool lessons for the week. And I'm using this playing preschool curriculum from The Busy Toddler, and I'll put her link in the description down below. Her curriculum is fantastic. It takes the guesswork out of it. It's a great guide. And then also it inspires me to come up with my own lessons and my own ways of teaching Ava, and I love it. 
As a family, we decided to keep Ava home for preschool this year, just with the situation with COVID. But it has been so amazing for me to see how much Ava has learned, even over these past few weeks. It is blowing my mind and seeing her little confidence grow. And she also knows when she has the right answer. It is so satisfying. We're gonna be focusing on the letter C this week. So I have all my lessons and all of her little projects and worksheets all organized. That way throughout the week when we do our preschool lessons, I'm not searching or guessing. I love lesson planning. And then I'm also getting out some activities for her to do. These Melissa and Doug on the go books, I found them at Winners, but you can also get them on Amazon. So I'll put a link in the description down below. These are a winner and they keep Ava quiet and busy for hours. She absolutely loves them and they're educational too. All right, preschool is ready for tomorrow. find a cozy corner on my couch and I pull out my daily planner and my phone and it's time for me to plan the week. I keep organized by all of my appointments on my phone but I also like good old-fashioned pen and paper. I love this planner. I actually picked it up at Michael's and it lets me break down my month, my monthly goals and also all of my individual to-do items. I have a lot of projects on the go right now, so it helps me organize everything from YouTube to family life, to appointments for Ava and myself, or appointments for Merrick. And also I have a choreography job coming up, so I'm trying to organize and plan out my day so that I have enough time for everything and I can keep all of these balls that I'm juggling up in the air. It is so important to me to stay organized and to stay on top of everything. And I find when I write it down, it absolutely makes me feel calmer, like I have everything under control. Now that I have been able to brain dump all of my things to do, it's time for me to start winding down. So I always like to start with a nice cup of sleepy time tea. I also find that if I have a cup of tea in hand, it also helps me to stop that late night snacking. So Mirik and I are going to sit on the couch and catch up on a couple of our shows and chit chat and just talk about the week ahead. and TV for a little bit, it's time for us to start getting ready for bed and wind down. Poor Buster Brown, I will come up from his nap. What a tough life, hey? A dog's life. So every night I have the same routine, how I get ready for bed by brushing my teeth with my electric toothbrush. I remove all of my makeup with these makeup remover wipes that you can get from Costco. And then I have the same skin routine that I have used for years. I use the Body Shop Tea Tree Oil line. I still get the occasional breakouts and I just find that this helps my skin stay nice and calm. I have quite oily skin and this really helps control that oil. I never go to bed with my makeup on. I always remove it. I always use a toner and a nice moisturizer and I find that really helps my skin at night. All right, it is time to get to bed. I don't do this every single night, but some nights when I have thoughts on my mind, I like to journal and I like to just get everything out. It can just be mindless words. I can sometimes even write to-do lists or just write a little letter to myself, anything to relax my mind. I'm a night owl 
and it's hard for me to shut my brain off and go to sleep. One of the best sleep habits that I'm trying to get into a better routine so that I am a better mummy in the morning and I'm not as tired. And don't worry, Buster Brown does not sleep on our bed. He just comes up for some snuggles and then he jumps on down. lip balm at night especially where we live in Canada it's really dry and my lips are always dry so I like to keep them nice and moisturized then the last thing I do before I go to sleep I read a devotional at night or something inspirational just for me to reflect on and give me some motivation for the next day all right guys well that is it for tonight's video I hope that you enjoyed this productive mom evening routine. I hope it gave you a couple ideas on how to start your week out on the right foot. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. 